right. Well, first things first, I got to keep proving to my kids that I'm actually cool. So everybody smile. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it's really humbling to be on the React Conf stage. I honestly never thought this would happen. So very humbling to be amongst some amazing speakers. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to be very quick today. Uh, everybody at Tansec, me, my team, we wanted to deliver one message, and that is that we believe that I need my presenter notes. That's what I believe, and they're not there. So I can do this really fast, I promise. Check this out. Yes. We believe that Tansec Start is the best way to build full stack React applications today. And I'm here to show you why, now very quickly. Uh, Start, like all of our other libraries, is not just written with TypeScript, but it was written from the ground up to be truly type safe. And it's painful that those two things are not the same. Um, I know you're probably used to using your beloved TypeScript libraries, but you still have to write a lot of types. It's really annoying. Um, we're all used to chucking TypeScripts and text everywhere we go. But with Start, type inference is a core feature. In fact, with a lot of our libraries, type inference is a core feature. And what you're often left with is just JavaScript, which used to be a familiar tagline for some of us. Uh, this is obviously less code, but it's also safe by default. You don't have to do any extra work. It's zero effort. And it's about as foolproof as it gets. Um, it really does allow you and your team and your junior developers or whoever comes in your code base to just worry about building your app instead of worrying if it will run. The next reason is that start is client first. And I say this a lot, but what this really means is that it's closer to the traditional SPA architecture than any other framework out there. It allows you to think and reason about your app like it's a spa. And this includes the speed, the simplicity, the libraries, the patterns that hopefully most of us are used to from the last decade of writing React. Um, but we get this unique ability to weave in server-side capabilities if and when you need them instead of the other way around. This is mostly possible because of Tanstack Router, which is actually most of the framework itself. Tanstack Router is like no other router. Uh, it's developer experience, type safety, all the APIs. They would be a serious upgrade for any React application, not just full stack apps. And Start inherits all of this power, all of these strengths. And it brings with it a solution to full stack React on top of that SPA experience, which includes all of this great stuff up here. Um, these, to me, are table stakes. These features, or at least they should be. But what we really think is cool, the cool stuff that we think Start can do, is honestly better shown than said. So I have a little surprise guest that we're going to bring out to help me do that. <laughs> Time, live demo. Okay. So we'll go over to the entire screen, start mirroring. I'm so glad this is you and not me. Yeah, exactly, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is an app that I built specifically for this conference. This is our Tanzac starter app. You can go over here to our navigation and you can see all this cool stuff. So we've got demonstrations in there for API requests and SSR, we've got forms, and we've got a full on AI assistant, we've even got a parameterized thing where you have a guitar demo, you can go see guitars and all that sort of stuff. So but one that I really want to get into, just to kind of give you a sense of how it works behind the scenes, because this is a Tansec start app, is the home page. And here it is. It's as simple as this. You do a create file route, you give it the path, you give it a component, and that's it. That's all you need to do to render a page. But it's been a long conference. They're not going to remember like create file route, right? So. Yeah. Super easy. All I got to do to make a route is just say, oh, I want you know, hello.tsx in there. And it just automatically does that for me. <laughs> Boom. Like that. Love it. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. <laughs> no <Okay>. way. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want it to be a spa, it's, it's initially SSR by default, right? So if you want a spa, you just say SSR. 
False. That's it. Done. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. Well, let's say that we want to go and get some data, right? So we'll add a loader, and we'll just, you know, we're turning it over. Whatever, it's fine. And there you go. You use that loader data, and that is all strongly typed, so you get that number in there. Super easy to use. And then let's talk about links. Wow, that's, that's kind of messed up. Thank you, Copilot, or whatever you are. All right. So we'll do a link. And let's say, let's, uh, let's bring in, just take a look at all the routes that we have. Come on, control space. Ah. One of those. Ah. What am I doing wrong? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys rock. Look at this, late in the day, and they're all, oh yeah, there you go. There go. All of our routes. No, no way. way. <laughs> no way. I can go to that guitar ID. You can see that it's, it knows it needs a parameter, but that needs to be a string. No way, easy peasy. All of that stuff is checked through TypeScript. So cool. But if you want to actually get data, I think the preferred way, you're going to use a server function. So this is, if you are familiar with the Next.js app router, this is going to be pretty easy for you. It, these are essentially syntactic sugar around API routes that we just make super easy to build. So this is, all you need to do is say create server function. You specify a method, which is great. You don't get to do that with next. Everything's a post. Here you get the choice. You get input validation. And you can just add in middleware at any time. I can go and say, oh, I want some logging middleware. And I'm just going to go and comment that out. And I can just drop that in there. You can just say you know, middleware, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Add the log middleware, and now it's logged. But even cooler, I got this currying feature where I can just say create server function, give it that middleware of log middleware, but not a handler. And then I can just use that. So now that's just automatically logged regardless. And if I add more middleware, like auth or whatever I need, done. Easy peasy. And the last thing I want to talk about is API routes. So that's also incredibly easy. You still use that same create file route, so you get that great, strong typing. But instead of just giving it a component, you also get, you can give it a server handler, give it get, post, whatever verbs you want. So really cool. So how did I actually build that neat demo app? Well, that's, that's where I come in. So my contribution to all this was create start app. And it's really cool. It's a nice. CLI app, you can go and say, okay, I want my app. Get all these awesome options like your tool chain, your hosting provider. We, we support all these different hosting providers. Nitro gives you all kinds of hosting providers. And you even get all your choice of add-ons. But there's so many here, cool add-ons like Neon and databases with Prisma and all that. It's actually better to kind of take a look at that in the UI. So let's try that. Let's actually use UI like that. And what you get is you get a full UI to actually build out your app. No way. Check that out. It even has a full on preview in the browser before you build the app. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, check all this stuff out. I mean, we've got ORPC, TRPC, all of our awesome libraries like Table and Store and Prism, and, and then all of our cool uh, sponsors and partners. Prisma, Neon, Convex, and all that. So everything you need, all the database, authentication, authorization, all of it, it's all there. We're good to go. All you need to do is just say, build me an app, build your app, you get started and go. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Love it. Now I'll let you take it home. Thanks, Jack. <laughs>well, it's really hard to demo. So one more hand for Jack while I, while I close up here. So with my last 30 seconds, um, I know a lot of you probably are thinking the same thing. Like, why do we need another framework? Um, I think contrary to what you see on social media, there, there are a lot of React developers who are unsure whether to follow some of their tools down um, architectural pivots, abstractions, one last breaking change, or even in some cases, um, leaving React behind. And that's not the future that I had in mind for my web applications when I started building with React and investing so heavily into this ecosystem. So not only do I want the safest, most powerful app framework that I can get, 
Um, I forgot to progress my slides, so we get to wait for this cool animation. But I also needed to be um, very stable. I wanted it to be more open, and I wanted it to be independent, um, mostly from anyone else's product roadmap. I wanted uh, Tansac Start to be made by the community and feel like um, we are in charge of it. And I'm not the only one who felt that way. There were a lot of people who have contributed their talents to building Tansac Start and Router over the years and many amazing sponsors who care deeply about this ecosystem, and they believe that what we're building is important to its future. It's taken us five years to get here. That's a long time, and we took that long because we wanted it to be really great. Um, to be honest, we want it to be your favorite framework, and we're here to earn that. So go try it out and let us know what you think.